the privilege to interact with God's blessing. With God's blessing. The blessing of a new covenant. Because the body of Jesus Christ has been broken for you and I. Therefore, we have been made whole. Amen? The blood of Jesus has been shed for us also. Therefore, listen, our sins are forgiven and pushed away. We need not live like sinners. Yeah, yeah here, if, if you don't, if you were here Sunday school, you saw how passionate Pastor Charles was when he was sharing that. And, and some of us, we still walking with the guilt of our sins. Get a break away from it. That's it. It don't matter what people say. Jesus died for me. Hallelujah. Hey. It don't matter what the enemy throws at me or accuses me of. I know Jesus died for me. Hey. I'm parched. Saint, yeah, I'm, I'm not denying I didn't do that. But the cross of Jesus, upon the cross, I choose to focus upon what he did upon the cross. Oh, listen, it's a deliberate action. It's a deliberate thing that you got to do every day of your life. Because listen, if you think the enemy forgot what you did in the secret places and threaten you that he's going to bring it out to the open, go ask. What's his name? Archie. Walter Archie or what's his name? That guy in uh, Atlanta running for Senate. Asha Walker. Yeah? Yeah, Asha Walker. Go ask him. I kept telling my, I said, just say, say, yes, he was. He was in the past, but that's not who I am today. And that's the mistake many of us do. We keep lying about what the enemy say. That was a mistake. But I know better now. And I'm walking in righteousness. This is my position now. Not then, but now. I'm not going to go back to my vomit. Uh, where God has brought me past. Uh, oh, people going to drag you back. Uh, oh, people going to want you to stay right there. But you got to resist it. So understand what we're about to do today. The Bible says, either the son says free, he's free indeed. Why are you still living like you're in bondage? Why are you still living like you're in shackles? That you can move freely. That you can celebrate the goodness of God upon your life. That he died for you. He saved you. He forgave your sins. Come on now. Don't be an ingrid. There's a reason you can't lock this door. I'll break it down. I'll come in. Because I know who my redeemer is. You can't stop me from worshiping him. You can take everything away from him. I keep telling Satan, you can take the people away. It won't stop me from worshiping God. It won't stop me from declaring his goodness unto me. Because I know I won't be where I am.